want to move, but I don't know. I'm scared. I want my friends to move with me. I want my boyfriend to move with me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. For those who are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button just to stay up to date with my latest uploads. So here on my channel, we are all about creating a life you love. So with that being said, let's hop into today's video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I manifested my move to Dallas while I wear my manifest that shit t-shirt. In a world that we live in, everybody is like so fast paced and trying to manifest this and trying to manifest that. And to me, it just got very confusing. I feel like I started manifesting things that I didn't want because like I became like extremely obsessive with the things that I wanted. So I feel like I kind of perfectly manifested this without actually trying to manifest this at the same time. So um, I'll just kind of start with the thought of moving. I kind of always felt like I wanted to move away but the way my anxiety is set up, y'all, I just, I just chicken out of a lot of stuff at the last minute, literally. I just be like, can't do it, can't do it. So like, I don't know. So it was kind of just part of me was like, I want to move, but I don't know. I'm scared. I want my friends to move with me. I want my boyfriend to move with me. Like it was not something that I felt like I could do by myself. In my head so um if you checked out my last video talking about my life update um i had a situation where all my emotions kind of just came down crashing on me which prompted my exit from michigan um in my video i'll tag it in the cars above but in my life update video i kind of just talk about losing a grandparent um, going to see that grandparent who didn't live here um, and kind of just opened up my horizon to seeing life outside of Michigan as an adult you know like not in a vacation setting like it was just kind of like a real deal moment where I had to travel down to Huntsville Alabama not that I wanted to live in Huntsville but it kind of just opened my eyes and I'm like yeah I don't want to live in Michigan I want like a different kind of environment like when you leave your hometown like outside of like vacation vibes like you just start to notice like certain things about cities that you would actually you know consider yourself living in like oh i like this i like that i like the weather i like the vibes and it was just kind of like that moment i'm like i like the south so i'm like i think it's time for me to really think about moving um so then fast forward um after the funeral and all that good stuff, all those emotions, I was like, yeah, I want to leave. And I was saying this before, but like now I was kind of just like, yeah, I want to leave. So what I started doing was I actually just started applying for a whole bunch of jobs. Like I was, I was applying for like 10 to 20 jobs a day. And honestly, nothing was really hitting. So I kind of just honestly forgot about it. I kind of just put it in the back of my head. Like I applied for maybe a certain amount of jobs and I'm like okay I'm not gonna worry about it anymore I'm gonna keep on doing life here and so um at the same time I was in therapy and I kind of told her like yeah I want to move my lease is up in three months so yeah and she's like okay bet I'm gonna get you ready to move within three months so you can have a nice smooth transition as we kind of started to do our work in therapy she kind of like mentioned to me she's like do you think that you really want to move away from Michigan or are you moving away from the emotions of Michigan? Um, and with that being said, it's like Michigan has so much trauma attached to it just from my life experiences. Like everything about Michigan is just a traumatic life for me. So she was like, are you running away from that? And I'm like, yeah, I think I might actually be so I'm like, maybe we shouldn't kind of focus on the move right now. Let's just kind of focus on like my anxiety and things like that. So right after I said that, literally maybe like two weeks later, I got a call back from one of the jobs that I really, really wanted down here in Dallas. And it was kind of just like a job that married my career, which is talent acquisition. This is what I've been doing since I graduated college. 
and my passion for like marketing and branding and design like it married both of those careers like perfectly so when i applied for the job i literally prayed over it i'm like lord please if this is for me let it be for me literally touch the screen praying over it as i submitted my application and i kind of just forgot about it honestly so it was not something that I was obsessing about or whatever, but then when they kind of reached out to me, they were asking me like my salary requirements. So I gave them my salary requirements and then my therapist, we met again. I'm like, uh, yeah, so I got some job interviews coming up. And like after that, like the ball just started rolling and rolling and rolling. It was literally like first interview, second interview, you got the job kind of thing. But um, something that really kind of like helped my mind in this process and not have like so much anxiety is this little dream journal that I have. What I did in this journal to really help me like especially like during my interview process because I feel like that be the thing that a lot of people kind of mess up. It's just the interview process and I just wrote everything down in here as I wanted it to be. So when I say I wrote this stuff in this journal, like it's already happened, it's already come to pass and I'm already living the life that I want to live. So um, what I can, I'll read you guys one of my inserts from here and I dated it. Um, 7 18 2022 so this is like right before I even had an interview so I said dear diary I'm so happy today I got the call that I received the job for blank I'm not gonna say the company in Texas the job is literally so perfect for me it's heavy social media role that combines my marketing skills with my TA ability it's like God literally prepared this for me. So not only am I excited about the job, it's paying six figures. Six figures before I'm 30. I am doing the damn thing. I am so grateful for this experience. Now I have began apartment honey. This is gonna be so fun. I will find a very modern apartment maybe a high rise in the perfect place for me super cute super updated i will decorate it so cute and keep it super clean i am so happy that this is my life right now thank you god like i wrote this with emotion guys like a literal emotion and i know it's a scripture um this is like write the vision and make it plain like this is as plain as i could have got it and when i tell y'all i have everything here everything i got the job in texas my apartment is super cute somewhat of a high rise but not really because it's just like in a wooded kind of area but it's still within like a downtownish kind of area for the suburb that I stay in. Beautiful, updated, everything I could have ever wanted. So now I'm in the process of finding like the perfect art and stuff. Like I have this, but my walls are too big. So I'm not even sure, uh-oh. Not sure what I'm even gonna do with it yet, but I'm gonna find a place for it. Six figures. Now, it's close to six figures on a base salary but it'll be a total six figures with the bonus and they say the company bonuses every year so basically it's six figures literally everything everything i could have wanted i wrote this before my first interview i just literally i knew what i wanted i knew what i wanted my life to live like look like i wrote it down and it came true and usually like when i want some stuff like i become obsessed and like researching and doing all this stuff and i just i think it becomes overwhelming for me but this method really seemed to work for me 
because that was 718. And then I ended up writing another entry because they asked me to do an interview after I wrote that. I didn't even have an interview at that time yet. So then I had an interview. I'm assuming the interview was the next day. Or it might have been this day. I can't remember. So this entry was 718. This entry is 721 at 9.50 a.m. I made sure to write the date and try to time it. And I said, um, I'm going to read this one because I wrote this before my interview. I think my interview was like at 10 or something. So I wrote this 10 minutes before my interview, y'all. Dear Diary, I just finished up my interview with Blank Company and it went awesome. The interview flowed effortlessly. Um, I put my boss's name in here because I knew who I was interviewing with, but I'm not going to say it. Blank seemed very pleased with my responses. I know once I hear back from them, it will be good news. I am grateful for God for presenting this opportunity to me. Y'all wrote this before the interview. When I told you the interview flowed effortlessly, she was writing down my ideas. Like she was like, oh, you're perfect. So this worked for me. Um, I believe they call this like scripting in the law of attraction community, but I'm gonna call this my dream journal. It worked for me. Now, this is the only time I ever tried this method. I haven't tried it with anything else. So as the new year approaches. Hey guys, I just want to pop in here from the future. Um, just be mindful, I recorded this video a few months ago. And I have indefinitely tried this method within the new year. It's only January 18th and I'm starting to see stuff that I already wrote down. So it's definitely powerful. I'm definitely going to see if this really works. But outside of this dream journal, I just think it was destined for me to be here in Dallas. Even one year prior, right as I started my last job at my old high school, I got a call from the Potter's House. The Potter's House, T.D. Jake's Church which is in Texas. And I want to say, I don't think it's Dallas. It's more closer to like Fort Worth or something, but like in between Dallas and Fort Worth. And it was a job for a social media role. And I turned it down because I chickened out. Y'all, like I said, I just be chickening out of stuff like to work for the Potter's house. Like, come on now, like what was I thinking? But like, I just feel like when you're meant to be somewhere, God is gonna make sure that you are there. So, overall, I still made it to Dallas, making good money, and I, most of all, I kind of just, I really believed in myself, and for me, like I said, I have anxiety, and my mind is crazy, like I have so much stuff in my head, but to be able to get clear in my head and write it down, it's what worked for me. And I want you guys to try this for your goals next year. Write down what you want. Write down how you want to feel when you get that, when you're already living it. Put your emotions into this paper and let me know how it works for you guys. Like I said, I'm going to do the same thing for my goals for next year. But like literally before the interview, wrote before actually get in the interview wrote before my second interview i wrote exactly how that interview was gonna go and that's how that interview went and literally probably like three or four days later i had a job offer and the rest is history i'm here by myself not with a friend not with my man here by myself but my mom did just move but she moved after i was already here but like i said you can do great things and sometimes i feel like if you're a girly like me with mad anxiety, you might just gotta kind of write it down and forget about it, if that makes sense. Like still continue to live your life, but don't put so much like obsession into it. Just know that it's on its way. God will give you the desires of your heart. 
if you pray about it and you feel like at peace about it, it's gonna come. It's gonna happen for you. So yeah, so that is how I manifested my move to Dallas. And if you guys wanna hear more about like how I exactly like format this or my formula, cause I do have a formula I kind of follow for writing this. Please let me know. I can do a bit more of a detailed video for you guys. But with that being said, I hope to check in with you guys later. Bye.